I am on a mission to completely minimize and organize our entire house from top to bottom before our third baby arrives in the end of August and I would love to take you guys along with me in that process. from work life glue I love to post videos showing how I'm maximizing my time and minimizing our stuff so that we can live the life of our dreams here on this channel I balance work life and everything in between as a busy working mom to two daughters with a third on the way and I have been on a mission ever since the pandemic hit to really streamline our home to really assess what we use what we treasure and what we need and to get rid of the rest and to really Go through our home, think about how we use it, how we want to use it, and have each space reflect that. I've also been going through a course online with Avital from The Parenting Junkie called Present Play. The doors are currently closed for the year, but you can definitely take advantage of what she teaches, and that's really helped me define different play spaces in our home for our girls, and really think about the function of our entire house and it's just been really wonderful. So I've already posted videos about our girls' closets and how I've minimized in there and really made it streamlined and easy to have three daughters all in different sizes and to keep track of the hand-me-downs in a really easy way. I've also post our basement storage tour and how I minimized in there as well with lots of extra space to spare. Last week I was in this room also working on craft items and kids books and getting rid of a ton in that area and organizing it and now today I'm going to be working on toys, puzzles, games, and our laundry room. Our laundry room is a catch-all space. It houses our freezer, it houses a fridge now because my husband started a cookie company and his batter takes up a lot of the space in our main fridge so we needed some space for some of our overflow items and bulk items. But we also have tools in there that I will not be tackling today. That'll be another video. But we have this desk built into our laundry room that just came with our 70s house and instead of like redoing the whole space and spending a lot of money and time we just put an Ikea cube storage unit on top it fit perfectly and it's mounted to the wall and that's been a great system but I really want it to be a toy rotation area and to just make it a lot more easy to rotate toys to find what we're looking for and to not have it be such a dumping ground so what I'm going to be doing today is getting all of our kids toys that are going to stay in this room or in the laundry room for rotation I want to get them all out organize them into bins I got from Target they're just the white plastic um, woven bins that I absolutely love they're only eight dollars for the big 13 inch size and they are just wonderful for kids and um, toys and stuff like that that have kind of a weird shape instead of the fabric bins they hold up a lot better and they're easier to clean and then if I have time I will also label everything but basically I just really want very minimal toys in this space at any given time if our kids are asking for something I can pull it out but I want a good toy rotation system so that everything is fresh and new once a month we don't have too many toys in here overflowing the space and we could just really live in a functional streamlined way I know this room is never gonna be beautiful I just want it to be functional so I'm going to first start by just emptying pretty much everything out of here, at least toys related or that shouldn't be in here or that needs a better home. And I'm going to bring it all into the playroom so I can sort it all. Okay, so these are all the main toys like that they would get out to play with. These are not table activities, puzzles, um, you know, stuff they would do at the table necessarily. Like they may build at the table, but not like things that require you to sit and do. So here we have... Just some miscellaneous stuff, a lot of like open-ended or like toddler type stuff. Got some Polly Pockets. Those are games I will get to eventually. These are all like um, animals, dolls, cars, and like imagination, barn, castle. I'm going to keep the dollhouse in here full-time, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to keep that there. 
This is all baby toys. These are all like blocks of some sort. So we have Duplos, Legos, wooden blocks, some letter blocks, magnet tiles, waffle blocks, and then mega blocks. And my plan is to just rotate one type in here at a time and they'll just stay under the table and whenever the kids want to build, we'll just pull them out. We've got some random stuff in here. I forgot to set out, but these would be baby stuff. This is masks for like dramatic plagues. I've got a bunch of costumes and stuff over here. This is all dramatic play stuff, baby dolls, doctor sets, stuff like that. We've got all the play kitchen stuff. These are roads and like a, a ramp they can play on with cars and just more dramatic play. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to try to get these into the white bins and have a system for rotating stuff in and out. First bin are different like manipulatives and um, you know, a bead mains, a shape sorter, a stacker, these Mr. Buckles, this is great fine motor, stuff like that, um, more tactile toys. And this second one is just kind of a continuation of that. These will get pulled out like a couple of them to put on the shelves. They won't stay in bins. The one problem is that this cube sorter has smaller cubes than these bins will fit into. So I can't just take a bin out of the laundry room and put it in. But a lot of the toys I'm just going to have standalone like one toy in a cube out here. So I can just retrieve what I need, put it in there and then have an easy spot to put it back and rotate different ones out. Here I've got magnet tiles. Like I said, the the blocks will just come out and go under the table. So this I can just keep these in. I don't have to like put them into a different bin when I bring them in here. I've got waffle blocks. These are all wooden blocks of different types and letter blocks. These are all baby toys and the soft baby books. And then in here are Legos. I keep these in one of those big bags that can spread out like on a table. And then you just use a drawstring to bring it back up and it fits really nicely in one of these 13 inch bins. As for the mega blocks, I think I'm just gonna keep them in this bin um, and Put it somewhere in the laundry room there is like a side to the side of the there's some of the desk space to the side of the cube storage unit i think i'll keep this on just because it's a really nice container for these and the kids still really do love playing with these here are all our wooden roads and cars and people and signs and stuff like that i don't think i'm going to rotate many of the dramatic place stuff out i think i will leave like the baby dolls in here most of the time the doctor kit so and stuff like that so i'm just going to keep this bin with the baby dolls in the playroom these two doctor sets these are like just um binoculars glasses and kaleidoscopes they use as telescopes this is all just baby stuff so bottles blankets bibs a carrier and then we've got some old phones that the kids love um, that don't work anymore, but they love to pretend. And then a wallet with play money and a little another wallet with play money and our cash register. And then I just have some extra phones and money in here that will go in the toy rotation in the laundry room. And I also have this keyboard that, you know, doesn't work anymore that the kids love to pretend to work with um, that I will keep in the toy rotation as well. As for like the people and animals and stuff like that, I used to keep all of these people out and it just became too many. So I picked like the little kids and a few of a few different um, races of 
you know, parents and grandparents and stuff. And then I kept the rest as well as these wooden ones in backup and I'll just kind of rotate them out. I still think this is a lot, but they do play with them. I have two of these wooden buses, but my girls have always loved these. So I'm keeping one in backup as well as this little pink car. I plan to keep the animals out. Um, I would love to get some other kinds of animals as well. Like these are mostly farm and jungle animals. I'd love to get like water animals and I don't know, just different animals from around the world and then rotate those out. And then I probably will rotate keeping the barn and the castle in here. I tried to get rid of the castle, but my two year old really loves it and asked for it right after I took it out of rotation. So I will just rotate it in and out. And if she asks for it, I can always grab it out of the laundry room. So these will stay as well as these pretty much in here always, I'm guessing, but I might rotate like the type of people and then bring in a car or two or if they ask for it as well as those will be in backup. I still had three bins left, so I decided to split my Duplos into two bins. We have a lot of Duplos, but the girls absolutely love them. It was always my favorite, my daycare kid's favorite toy. So I just split them up and then I kept all like the flat pieces on top because they're always the ones they start with. And then I have all the animals and people in this little bin to have separate. The last area for the main toys of this space is the kitchen. I've streamlined and I have donated so many play toy play food over the year over the years. I think I'm just going to leave what I have. I will go through it actually. It's it's too much. Um I need to get rid of some more. Okay, so to minimize some of the kitchen stuff, I'm just keeping like the normal play food in here and then we have a few different sets. We've got a cookie set, a tea party set, an ice cream set, and then like a donut and cookie set. I'm gonna keep these in rotation. And then like if they ask for one, I can get one out, but that way we don't have all these extra pieces floating around and then they're trying to find the whole set and it's hard. So I'll just keep one out at a time and keep the rest just in this dramatic play bin that I was gonna, that wasn't really full anyway, since this is dramatic play as well. Last up is dress up clothes. I have one bin left of the white bins. I think I'm gonna keep um, some of the dress up clothes up in the living room because that's our movement space. So they might like to put on dresses. They like to do fashion shows. And then like the more, um, like the doctor's costumes, the firefighter, the chef outfits, I will keep down here in rotation because I do have this stand right here that I can hang them on. So I just decided for the main, dress up clothes to stay upstairs because that's where they tend to play with them so I just separated out this is like um, their Halloween costumes hats and skirts we've got like capes and superhero masks um, wands purses and wings and this is just like overflow dresses firefighter costumes and stuff like that and then down here I'm just keeping the doctors costumes two different dresses and then up here I'm keeping a chef hat and some aprons. So for toys I'm leaving in here and if it gets to be too much I can always put some away. Got a cash register. I decided to just keep one doctor set out. Um, the money, the phones, and one kaleidoscope. Stacker toy, shape sorter, bus with people, dollhouse people, animals, baby doll accessories, and baby dolls. And then like I said I will be keeping the dollhouse in here our few dress up clothes and then the play kitchen stuff. I don't know if I'm keeping this stroller. The, the girls do love it. So I'm going to keep it for right now and then just some play cleaning supplies. Here is the progress in the laundry room. I am absolutely loving this. I'll take you guys quickly through. These are just the bigger things that I couldn't fit in the cube unit. Our mega blocks, the ramp, and the castle. And then on the bottom I put all of the blocks because they're heavier. So I've got wooden blocks, magnet tiles, and these both are the Duplos and Duplo people and figures. Here are our roads and cars. This is the Lego bin, waffle blocks, and then this is just like the play food and dramatic play overflow. These two are the manipulatives, wooden toys, stackers, that kind of stuff. Here's the overflow 
um, bus and people and car. And then this is just all the baby toys and baby books. I found a couple other things in the basement I had forgotten about. One of which was more wooden blocks. So I just mixed it in with these. And then I just am keeping these wooden letter blocks out. I also have these pegs and magnetic um, different shape blocks that I will keep for now and see if we use. So let's just go up there. That I have there, it's a shape sorter, that's really cool. The keyboard, the barn, and then I also have these Jenga blocks that are fun to build with, and you can also play Jenga, so I have that. And that's just a snowman um, outfit that I forgot we had that I wanna keep for next winter, but I'm really loving how much nicer this looks. I definitely need to label all these so I can easily find stuff and my husband can easily find stuff, but for now, this is looking way better. Now I'm gonna tackle games, table activities, and puzzles, and have a system for those. We also have a bunch of games up in the living room. I think I'm gonna bring them all down. And I want to keep pretty much all this stuff here, puzzles here, and then any overflow will go up here. I also have these here that I wanna go through. And then I also have a bunch of um, puzzles in the dining room I'm gonna bring down. So I corralled all the games and puzzles and miscellaneous table items down here. What I'm gonna do first is just go through the games, see what I wanna keep, and then I'm gonna try to condense as many as possible into these document holders. I got these on Amazon. They are pretty big. They can fit an eight and a half by 11 inch paper, just to give you reference for size. And they zip up and they, you know, pieces can't fall out of them, but you can kind of see what's inside. And there's different colors. I will link to these below. But I'm gonna get rid of most of the boxes to keep our games consolidated. I don't know yet if I'm gonna keep the boxes in storage. I don't th really think I am. I'm probably just gonna keep them in here. Um, and if I donate them, I'll just put them in a bag. It's not ideal, but um, most of these games will probably play for a really long time, but this will help save so much space. There are 36 of these, so I can for sure keep at least 36 games. I don't wanna keep 36 games. What would have taken up all this space only takes up this much space. So I got all those games, 13 games to fit in these mesh bags. Um, and then you can easily see what's in there. A few of them were slightly too big to close, like Guess Who and Trouble, but um, I think they're fine. And I actually have these, these were the bins that the waffle blocks originally came in, and these document files just fit perfectly in them, so I think I'm just gonna keep them in there. A few of them had boards that were a little too big, so I'll just keep these underneath one of the bins. And then for our smaller like card games and stuff that were more contained, I was gonna keep them in the document holders, but I think it's just easier to find if they're just in a bin. And then three games either required the box to play or were just too big and bulky to fit in the document holder, so they'll just stay in their boxes. So that's Zingo Operation and the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game. Those all fit really nicely on this top shelf. I couldn't fit the two games up right here um, because then I couldn't fit that bin but I just stuck them under the thing and now we can easily find all our games if we want to play a game. Okay as for table activities I've gone through most of these already so I know I'm keeping all this stuff it's just a matter of organizing but I do need to go through our puzzles we do not need this many puzzles and I have all these as well plus those. So I need to go through them and see what I actually want to keep. Okay, I'm now gonna work on puzzles. So I'm gonna go through the wooden like chunky puzzles, toddler puzzles soon. Um, since we only have probably one more baby coming into this family and I'm scaling back my daycare, I don't need so many of those puzzles. We never really needed them anyway, but um, but I wanna first go through these. We don't normally pull these out just cause they were tucked away in the laundry room. I definitely don't want to keep all these. We already have a bunch of like 16 to 24 piece puzzles that are in these boards, which I love because 
they're really easy to store i get these at the dollar tree and garage sales and stuff but i think it is also important to learn how to do a puzzle without any form to it so i'm gonna pick probably pair this down to about half and same with the memory games maybe just keep two or three but we don't need like six or seven so i'm just gonna do that and then i think i'm just gonna put them in bags cut out the picture you know of the puzzle and put them in bags just so that they take up less space and i'll just put them in a bin so of the ones i'm keeping i just put these in some quart size ziploc bags and i just cut out the image from the box so that um, we would know what the puzzle looks like but really really simple i did the same for the matching i just took out the little label so that you know we would know what kind of match it gave it is the only one that I'm keeping the box for is this paint shop matching activity where it's got these paints and you have to match them to the color. I just really like this. I think it's fun. Um, but you need the box for that. And then we're donating all of these. In this sorter, I just took out all the chunky board, you know, wooden puzzles like these. And I'm for sure keeping all these inlay ones. I just love them and they take up so little space. I'm keeping some like ABC ones that are a little harder and then these the kids love. So I'm going to keep these kind. And then up here I also have a couple of magnetic doll things I'm going to keep. My girls love these. But I'm going to go through this humongous stack of wooden chunky puzzles and I'm going to try to get myself to narrow it down to just 10. Here we go. I'm really proud of myself. I narrowed it down to nine. So I've got this like different truck one, this different vehicle one, and they can make noise, um, but I need to put new batteries in, but I think those are really cool. I've got this number one, this animal one that makes noise, shapes, insects, underwater creatures, farm animals that don't make noise, and just another animals that make noise one. Getting rid of these. So now I still have a few things to go through. I think I'm just gonna donate these LOL doll. Maybe I'll keep them. I'll, maybe I'll keep them, put them in a bag. I haven't decided yet. Um, these puzzles are all too big for the sorter, but they still love them. So I may just put them somewhere else and they're a little bit more challenging, which I like. Um, this thing will probably fit in the sorter. I love this. And then I like pulling out these sticker pads, especially like car rides or restaurants or when we're going to somebody's house, they're reusable stickers, but they are kind of big too. So I'm gonna figure out a spot to keep all those, but I love to just pull some of these things down and just have them waiting for the girls and then they get really into it rather than having them ask for it or get it themselves. This is all the games and puzzles that we are donating. That feels really good. And these are all the boxes we are recycling. And this is what it looks like right now. So all the toys I showed you, I'm still going to like label them eventually. Probably not for this video though. Here I put added our matching memory games to this bean bags and games. Here we've got like magnetic dolls and wooden numbers and different things lacing games i didn't do anything to that and then i put all the puzzles in here here we've got all those inlay puzzles some a little bit more difficult wooden puzzles these kind and these are all like magnetic doll type things including that and then these are the nine that i'm saving and then over here, this is just some other magnets and stuff and like a few different table activities. These are some wooden game sets I forgot I had. These are table activities. These are those bigger inlay puzzles, just some more table activities. And then up there are all the games. So it fits really nicely in a small amount of space. And then just on the other side, I added the poly pockets here on top of our large construction paper. This is just mainly where I store books. So here's an overall look just at this area. It's amazing how much stuff is stored here, but how little visual space it takes up and how organized it is and how easy it is for me to get stuff in and out for the girls and bring it to the table over here that I still need to clear off. Um, 
but I'm really, really happy with that. I am pretty tired at this point. I think I'm just gonna finish here. Most of this stuff is just staying. I just have to reconfigure it a little bit, so it's probably not even worth the whole video. I'll just show it in one of my upcoming vlogs or I'll combine it with another organization project. I found these small chalkboard labels. They are very small. I'm hoping they'll stick well. Um, they may not be my permanent solution, but just what I do for now. Um, so I'm just gonna label these and put them on the bin. I would love to get bigger labels, but for now this will do and you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I may change these over time, but um, that's what they look like. Not beautiful handwriting by any stretch of the imagination, but good enough. Done is better than perfect. So I took just a super quick second to tidy up this area. It does not have to be fancy. There's some stuff I do need to go through. Um, like that's a bunch of overflow diapers and stuff that we may not need anymore, but just a lot cleaner. This is by far the best our laundry room has ever looked in the entirety of us living here. So I'm really happy with that. It's a very multi-purpose room that has a lot of functions that we've had to work with a lot of quirks to it, but I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. And I think it looks so much better. I really hope you guys enjoyed minimizing and organizing with me. This project feels so good to be done. I still need to get a lot of stuff out to the recycling bin and into my donation pile that is growing and growing every week. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments or on our community tab if the comments are disabled. Let me know what area of your house you want to tackle next. What are you motivated to tackle or what were you tackling right along with me? I would love to know. I don't know what I'm going to be tackling next, but make sure you come back next week for another organizing video and also on Sunday for a working mom weekly prep video where I just share what we did over the weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.